Can tattoos act as a portal for demonic possession? And follow up. Can spells be transferred through tattoos? Some of you might be sitting there thinking that sounds kind of silly, but here's where it comes from. On TikTok, if you don't follow me, go. But I posted a video regarding Christians having tattoos about two, three weeks ago. It has two million views. So obviously it has thousands and thousands of comments. And one of them was this one right here. This was the first genuine question. I've heard that demons can enter your body through tattoos. Can you talk about this? Follow up question, more of a comment, really. Even so, be careful. Spirits and spells can be transferred through tattoos. So make sure if you're planning to get one, take it up in prayer first. So in response to the first question here, there is nothing in scripture. There is nothing in church history. There is really nothing in terms of Christian faith at all, anywhere, anyhow, through any sort of gymnastics that could say that demonic possession happens through tattoos or that tattoos act as some kind of portal for demonic possession. I don't know where you guys are hearing this from. I know it's something in Dungeons and Dragons. It's the only thing I've ever heard of that has anything to do or, or even similarly or relatively similarly makes sense for this. Dungeons and Dragons is a role-playing game. It is a game. It's a game. It's the only place I can find anywhere that has mentioned something like this being possible, specifically in terms of spells, as the second commenter had said. But th the answer plainly, in my opinion, is no. No. Tattoos do not act as any kind of... It's ink that is being injected under the upper layer of skin on your body. Nothing magical happens by putting ink into your skin. But I will say this, there are plenty of things that could open you up or make you vulnerable to some sort of evil spirit, right? That could open you up or make you vulnerable to the enemy using that vulnerability and attacking you in some way, right? I'm not super Pentecostal, so I'm sorry if you're looking for a very heavy Pentecostal answer here. I'm not gonna give it to you, I'm not that guy. but. I know that the vulnerability is real, but I know that that does not come from a tattoo. So a tattoo could have something to do with a demonic possession, but a tattoo does not, it is not required as a part of any demonic possession. Does that make sense? So a demonic possession can occur whether there is or is not a tattoo, meaning the tattoo is not the indicating factor, meaning no. Again, to be short, to answer the question short, no, it cannot. But you need to be aware, you need to be conscious of the condition of your heart. And I know I use that term a lot, but it's, it's everything to me. It's everything within faith, is the condition of your heart. And that goes for salvation, that goes for demonic possession. It's very similar. What the condition of your heart is, what your conscience is, which some will entangle with the Holy Spirit, your connection to the Holy Spirit, these things can, or the lack of these things, can put you in a place where demonic possession or some kind of evil entity can gain a foothold within you. I do believe that. I believe that fully. But the tattoo is not the or an indicating factor. I would say, I would go so far as to say that even if you got a tattoo of a demon, that is not opening you up to demonic possession. I can tell you, I have some tattoos. I was not a Christian when I got 90% of my tattoos. My legs are covered. My feet are covered. My everything is covered pretty much. I have some leaning towards demonic tattoos from my time well before Christ. That does not open me up to demonic possession, especially because I, I have a very firm condition of my heart. I know exactly who I am. I know exactly what I believe. I am firm in my faith. And I've never, I just, honestly, I've never even heard of it. I did a bunch of research. And like I said, the only thing I could find was Dungeons and Dragons. But no, 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 no. And then I wanted to address this second comment specifically again. Even so, be careful spirits and spells can be transferred through tattoos. Now, this would indicate you are not just a Christian because spells and spirits 
when attached to the term spells means your 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 perception of spirit is different than mine and i'd say your perception of spirit is different than your average christian these things are taking you into a very different zone if that makes sense you're getting more out of christianity out of out of organized religion, if you want to call it that, out of something where we have set doctrines, we have a book that we believe that at least contains most, if not all of the essential beliefs that we are under, you are now traveling into a different zone. So, uh, you know, outside in that zone, you know, there's not much I can say, because that's not a zone in which I live. I live within the Christian zone. And I get that even within the Christian zone, I'm kind of on the outskirts, but I'm not over there where spells are. I don't go that far and no hate on people who are into spells and believe spell what to each their own. You guys know I'm, I'm very liberal in terms of, of, of religious belief, I guess to say it plainly, but this is a totally different zone. So I can't really speak to this, but I can tell you within the context of Christianity, this bears no weight for the reasons that I've already discussed. So I hope, I hope that makes sense. I hope we can all agree who are Christians that no, your tattoos are not a portal for demonic possession, even if you have demonic tattoos, because I am one of those people, ironically enough, I can't cover my tattoos up because it would just be black ink. Everything is too interwoven. Everything is too, I would have to black my arms. I'm sure you've seen it before. I don't like the way that looks. Nobody knows I have demonic tattoos. Now you do, but you wouldn't find them otherwise. They're all covered and they're all entangled in other stuff. And I've never at all felt at risk due to those tattoos. Well, Joe, you don't like the way they look. That's not a good reason for not covering them up. I would say this. It's not just that. It's also that this is a representation of somewhere that I was, someone that I was, and now who I am. And I can't tell you the number of conversations I've had with people regarding the content of my tattoos in the amazing life change that took place some of you who have been here for a very long time know what i'm talking about but i got my tattoos in a very special place both physically and you know emotionally and psychologically and where i am now makes that person and that place unrecognizable and so that allows me to give testimony to that and i am a living representation covered in visual representations of the dramatic life change that can take place when you come to understand and know God. And beside the fact of I don't like how they look when you just black out your entire body or sections of your body, I would hate to give that up. I would hate to not have those encounters with people. I would hate to not have those conversations and that testimony that I'm able to give. I would hate that. And beyond that, again, it does nothing negative to me. So I feel no need whatsoever, and I feel as if it would be a loss to get rid of, to remove, or to cover up these tattoos. So I hope that answers both of you guys' this question, question and comment, and I hope anybody else who has wondered this, this now provides you some sort of security and some sort of you know, understanding that, no, the answer is no, man, it doesn't. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.